Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Against the Storm. Now, in a professional YouTuber move, and to start the year off fantastic, um, I screwed up a recording. So you'll notice Goldmine down here, which was the, the mission type where we essentially could try and get a certain number of villagers at the start of each game for the rest of this run until we, uh, you know, until it's over in exchange for, I think, completing before year eight and having 250 gold. Well, I did it, but I was muted half the time. <laughs> uh, and to the point where, like, even a uh, even a voiceover, I think, would be a little bit awkward, which is what uh, a couple of the members in uh, on the channel had suggested that we do. So we're just going to actually, we're going to have to ignore it, unfortunately, because that was a fantastic run. It was a super fun drive. We were able to get lots of places, do lots of things, but that's okay. It is it is unfortunate. Uh, but however, we have to, we have to get a lot of seal fragments left. And I, I am still very, very hesitant on the potential of that happening. And so what I think we got to do is we have to start going towards these more difficult things that has things like starting with extra hostility points or no soil anywhere, which oof, that would be really hard. But I also need to get machinery and things like that. So I think what we have to do is I think that we have to start doing this. So if we go over here, we'll notice that uh, we'll get lots of machine parts, lots of the uh, artifacts, uh, a small handful of seal fragments. I kind of think that double events like this modifier should be a little more but we would also get two royal resupplies, which may really, really help us in the end. So I guess we'll have to kind of see on uh, how this works, but that's okay. Now, the conditions here are, again, reduce the flame, the radius of hearths by three fields. That's massive. Uh, that's essentially, what, six fields in every direction. So that's a big chunk missing, which just means we'll have to be super optimal uh, in this round and build more hearths. I have a really bad thing with that, but we definitely need to build more hearths. We also start with 50 hostility points, which really sucks. Uh, it really sucks. However, we get Royal Archaeologists, which means we gain access to the Archaeologist's office and we get an archaeological dig, which does provide some benefits if we can produce there. So I, I think it'll be a really solid one. I think we can handle this. And we're going to start out with just a crap ton of villagers because I succeeded in the harder difficulty one which means i start with an additional three settlers or villagers however you want to call it now if we look over here we do need to be mindful of this i'm glad that we have stone that's going to let me build some paths very quickly uh berries roots and eggs are all going to be things so we want to go after things like lizards and beavers if we have the opportunity to uh, and then lots of copper ore thank goodness uh grain because we don't have oh no this isn't the one that doesn't have it uh, we'll be able to do lots of good things. The trees bring us uh, wood, copper, ore, pigment, and plant fiber. Lots of positives going on here. But it depends on our villagers. Now, as you can see here, uh, we could start out with 11. Oh, my word. Oh, that's that's big. But I guess we also start out with 11 here, so it's a little more unpredictable. We're actually going to go with that because I want my beavers more than anything. Um, unfortunately, I would love some pickled goods and stuff. But I don't see it happening. Now, we, just because we don't have, uh, we never mind. I'm stuck in the mindset that we had, we aren't getting fertile ground, so we need to just wipe that away. It doesn't matter. I am going to get an additional group of villagers, so that means we're going to start out with 14 villagers. It's a bit excessive, <laughs> but I think it'll, I think it'll go a long ways for us for sure. Uh, we're going to do our usual packs of provisions because that's a really good head start on everything that we need to do. Now, what we could do, mm, we could lose out on either the packs of provisions or the amber. I'm actually going to bounce on the amber because I do really want to, let's see, our beavers, they like pickled goods, ale, scrolls, and stuff like that. I don't know what combination I'll get here. And unfortunately, none of these guys really like ale either, so I don't know that there's a chance I'll get humans. I think we need to, to bump ourselves up with some, some prefabricated goods because whatever it is, I'm gonna need to build some housing and we wanna get started on that pretty pretty darn quick. What do we name this though is the real question because, wait a second, do I get even more? Did they already count the three villagers inside of all that? I bet they did, I bet they did. We're gonna go with the cryptic name. We're gonna go Chose Violence. And we're gonna see if that doesn't come true with this considering the frost and the ancient battleground. Uh, I definitely think it's appropriate, but let's see what we can't get done. All right, typical startup, everything's well and good. 
and the drizzle is very mild, making it the perfect season for looting. Increases the chance of bringing back twice the goods from Glade events solved during the drizzle by 25%. Not too bad. It's not fantastic, but it's not too bad either. Um, discovering a Glade during the storm will decrease global resolve. That's fine. We're not going to mess with that then. The Firekeeper's power weakens in the face of otherworldly force. Maximum number of sacrifice stacks is lowered by one. Again, not a huge deal. The kicker is that they're throwing a lot of things at us at a very early stage. The positive is that they aren't too bad overall. Uh, the rain causes the trees to rot and fall apart. Woodcutters fell trees 50% faster, but have a 100% chance of destroying their yield at tier 2. Now, that is pretty darn crucial. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that's going to be very, very hard to mitigate, but it's only active during the storm. Typically, I remove my woodcutters anyway, so we'll see if that even has an effect. And then during the storm, the heart's resistance decreases by 200. So not anything we've had difficulties with overall. I'm not concerned. Now, of course, we're going to roll with the carpenter. Uh, as much as I... Ooh, ah, this is... Mm, a bakery is what we have to go because every one of these guys can be satiated by biscuits. Two of them buy biscuits and pie, and we need pottery to make ale and stuff. So, okay, the bakery is where we have to go. And that's good because we just got a workshop or a lumber mill. We're going to go with the lumber mill. Mm, no, we got to do the workshop. Ah, this, this confliction is dumb. Uh, we're going to run with the workshop because it can make planks, fabrics, and bricks. We got it. We got to do that. And then last, but by no means least, we're going to roll with the scribe. And the reason why we're going to roll with the scribe is because it makes scrolls and ale. Our humans need ale. The uh, or our humans and beavers need ale. The beavers and harpies need education. So we'll definitely roll with that. Pretty solid. Oh, no, I hit reroll. I hit reroll. That's dumb. Um, That's fine because we can satiate everyone with the temple anyway. So that's actually... Uh, a longer term goal so thank you rng gods for for doing all that now our hearth is significantly decreased like it's bonkers how much three from every side really really sucks right now uh so we need to be very mindful of what we're going to do at this very moment so we need can i fulfill heart piece i can we're gonna get the people that we can help so that's only eight so we have 14 homeless so that means that we are going to have to make uh, quite a bit more. Let's just have our standard uh, crappy housing here, I guess. I can't even build. Nope, we're going to have to build this in the middle. And it's just going to have to be a little bit ugly in our area for a little while. All right, so we got our guys up and running a little bit. Our harpies are fully satisfied. Our humans are almost satisfied. I guess there are three of them, aren't there? Okay, uh, that's fine. And then we will get everyone else situated here. Our, our beavers are the ones that are going to suffer the most, and that's just how it is at the moment. Now, for our cornerstone, we need to figure out really, really how we can make these more efficient. Uh, da, 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 da. I love the Firekeeper's armor. It removes an additional corruption, but I don't know that we need that. However, I think we do, will do value-added tax. Packs of trade goods are worth 25% more when sold through trade routes or directly to traders. That is definitely the way to go. And while we wait for the wood to get here, of course, prioritizing these guys so that way we won't uh, get distracted. We're going to rock these things everywhere we can. And there we go. Now, we can do a basic set of benches just to have some back seat seating. Um, right here would be a good spot. Yeah, yeah, we'll definitely do that. I know what I'm doing. And now we also have our first orders. As always, if we make one geyser pump, we would get five pipes, two villagers, some crates of clay. If we completed two trade routes, we would get four villagers. Hmm. Geyser pump's going to be more beneficial to me, for sure. Keep human resolve above 22, or keep beavers resolve above 18. We're going to roll with the humans, because I could actually do that before the first storm season. And then this is a simple one. Be able to deliver all of these types of goods. We get one to grain production, one to fabric. Or we can get a trading post and deliver 10 amber for some biscuits, some parts, and some tools. We're definitely going to go with the perks because those are more long-standing overall. And, of course, we do have a temple and things of that nature, which would barely squeeze through here based on our current parameters. Yikes, this is going to be a really, really tight one. All right, so we need to get human resolve. We're going to go ahead and 
favor these guys up there a little bit. You see that they are getting the benefits from clothing, which is yet another uh, very optimal setup. If we can get clothing and biscuits running, these guys are going to be right as rain in a very, very short period of time. And there we go. Already done. We have some more villagers already. And we get a reputation point. Now, what we need here, I think, is definitely a forester's hut. The ranch really isn't that bad, but I don't know what all I can use meat and eggs for. Let's take a look. We're going to go over to the ingredients side. And we're going to search for meat. And you, we can use it in a makeshift post. A field kitchen would actually be good, but that's only to make jerky. We need meat for pies, so that's a pretty good one to be, uh, to be going for. We can use that in a clothier to make some water skins. Okay, so there's a, there's a decent number of uses. Uh, and some of those uses will definitely aid us. So actually, I think, especially with the amount of plant fiber that we should be getting from, uh, from the region and from the area. Let's take a look. Yeah, I think, a plant, I think plant fiber would be really good because we can use that plant fiber to make all those things. Let's go with the ranch. Now, we don't need to use them yet because, again, I'm very, very limited on space. So we really just need to focus on clearing land that will allow us to move and place industry structures outside of this area. So we're gonna kind of slap these guys right here, for instance, make them do all the things and the stuff and the goods. And then our five extra employees are currently cranking away at all the different things that they can do. Nice, Ancient Hearth is already at level one, which gives us a nice little boost to resolve overall. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be hard to work and get up to our resolve, but we do have to make like a concerted effort to do it. And just like that, the start of a new year, relatively uneventful overall. We just got to get our boyos back in order here. Our harvester's camp is finished, which means that we need to make a, um, a determination to get through and cut through some glades as quickly as possible, especially so we can get the packs of building materials and whatnot. Now, we do have quite a few things to work on we're going to get our woodcutters or our woodcutter our workshop working so that way we can make wood a little more efficiently as well as fiber bricks etc etc now we're going to move these guys out of the way because remember we're going to have to start making way with our very very limited room overall we really got to get plank production going in terms of newcomers we're going to take uh two newbies now that's going to give us a population of 19 already in year two, which is a little bit bonkers. Now, this is a really interesting set of things. We can gain 40 meat and grain for each completed dangerous or forbidden glade event. Hostility is reduced by 10 points every time you use 150 units of rainwater. That would be a good one. Big strategic changes always come with adjacent period. Adjustment period, excuse me. Every neighborhood town offers two more routes, but no trader will arrive until you complete five of them. We don't need to worry about that or we can reduce hostility now at this point i don't think hostility is going to really do anything a, a negation of hostility uh, i think we have to do this overall and that's going to help us so we're going to have to really lean into rain engines no more orders there we do have scenarios here where we get a good chunk of change so that's always nice and then we get our trader now we don't have a lot to offer whatsoever however our packs of goods are worth 25 percent more so that's a, a big benefit. Now, what we could do is we could simply order some planks or do things of that nature, but I think we need to. Woodcutters move 20% faster. All packs of goods are produced 33% faster. I always love that one. So unfortunately, what we have to do here is we have to pay an additional 2.5 amber to be able to purchase 10 amber from her. So that's a little bit of a janky, I mean, it's, you know, it's interest and you know, incentives and all that sort of thing. So I think we sacrifice that and let's go ahead and get, actually, can I get some pipes? Is that too much? One pipe's better than no pipes, I always say. And then I think that will be okay. We could actually get one berry. There we go. We could get one berry, purchase that for uh, 10 amber and then purchase the quick deliveries. So now that that's in order, we can go and get our makeshift post ready in Rumble. We have plenty of people to do it in. And I think we'll be right as rain. Our first glades open up. We have a small abandoned cache and some uh, reed fields, which is what will be useful here. 
So we're gonna go and drop that, and we're gonna put a couple of those boyos in there. We don't have any tools whatsoever, but we also don't have a way to open that up. That's super fun. We also opened up a dangerous glade, and this is going to have some sea marrow, some stone deposits, a copper vein, oh heck yes, a medium abandoned cache, an artisan artisan, and a rain spirit totem. Now for this, we have 13 minutes. If we don't do it, we'll destroy all the roads in the settlement through flooding, and villagers will move 30% slower. Yeah, we need to do something. We need to do something quick. Um, what is the ritual? Decreases hostility by 50 and counts as for harmony. We really, really need that. But I also don't think any of those things can be provided by this chick. Uh, so what we could do is we could risk an impatience point and hope that we could get that in this next one because I can't hardly even burn it down either. Hmm, a little bit of a pickle for sure. Uh, what does an art artisan do? Oh, it gets us coats. Coats, barrels as well, and packs of luxury. So that's actually a really useful one. And I think we could go ahead and say, hey, we're going to go ahead and build a, a second thing here. We're going to have you guys do that. And I think, yeah, mm, we do really need to work on this. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and dismiss her once she's gone. I don't want to attack her. That's not going to be useful for us. And then we'll see if we can't get the goods to be able to, to f f uh, fully work on this. All right, and we also open up another glade, which this was intentional. I'm purposefully opening up this many. We can get a drizzle uh, drizzle thing, a drizzle water thing, which unfortunately doesn't help us at all. I mean, it does because it's a water geyser, and we actually do need a geyser pump, so we will do that. And then we also got the ability to get some roots through a small forager's camp. We can definitely go ahead and do that. We have the capacity. There we go. Awesome. All right, so she's left. We're going to call immediately at the expense of half of a, of a point. So we'll see what happens. More orders are coming in as well. We have seven minutes, of course. We couldn't have done this two minutes ago. We need to be able to deliver 70 drizzle water, complete five trade routes. I'm just going to go for the easy pickings on this one. Complete two events by making the decision of empathy or deliver 12 packs of luxury goods. That's feasible for us, especially with our uh, good thing over here, our artisan luxury goods are going to be a good deal all right so this guy doesn't help us either and that's a okay. bit frustrating we needed some good goods and he did not provide so i essentially just wasted a route which is fine it sucks but it's it's nothing that we can really do um all right cool so we have to break this down unfortunately uh that would have been a really useful thing to have but i can't uh, risk losing oh, using or roads isn't such a big deal but it's really more of losing everything else and villagers being slower that I really do not enjoy. And there they go. They're going to go crank at it as hard as they can. And we'll get some good, decent benefits from it. I'm not going to lie. It's not like it's terrible for us. It's just not preferable. And we already got our three packs, which is giving us a boost to grain and fabric, which is fantastic. What lies in store for us now? We do need something that will allow us to use our, um, you know, our farmland. Plantations are great. Small farms might be better. Yes, they will, because we need grain to turn into flour. So we're definitely going to do a small farm over here. We're going to knock out this little sucker to get a small farm going. And then I also think, uh, you know what? We're actually not going to uh, push a hearth here. And the main reason is that we just don't have the space. Now we could, once this stuff gets cleared out, drop a hearth. Well, no, we still need more space than what we're being given, so... Uh, we'll have to figure out a new place for it for sure. We're running a little low on all of the whole plank things. Oh, hey, cool. And a beginner engineer already off the bat too. We're going to go with... Ooh, a kiln would be really nice to have though. I think we have to go with the smelter because we do have copper and that makes biscuits, albeit not super well. So that's fine with me. We'll roll with that. I'm not giving away... Uh, our uh, gears just yet even though they are super beneficial to have now we just need packs of luxury goods and some drizzle water i'm going to go ahead and boost this we're going to upgrade that and that is storm water and i do believe these guys use storm water so whenever we get to that point we'll do that yeah no that sounds good that all sounds great the smelters there we could use a mine here Although it's not going to be a big priority. And human resolve is mahusively low. Everyone's resolve is super duper low. Everyone's. Of course, we do have a pretty big other negative hit. That's causing some problems. All right. So that was very unfortunate. We don't really want that to happen again. We're going to have to make some... To ensure some ways, basically, to make sure that doesn't happen again. 
but we got to start clearing, and I don't want to get into another dangerous glade event just yet. That being said, we are running a little low on supplies and extraction stuff for food specifically. So that's, that's a big concern for me. That's a really big concern because we need to be able to rely on our food supply. Now, what we also need is we also need bricks. We need to be able to work on bricks so I can make something that makes bricks a little more efficiently. <laughs> that's uh, it's a bit, uh, we're not doing too great on this run. We also lost a couple of people. So I think taking the maximum number of people that we can is going to be the best solution. And give me something good, please. Two to read production or two to leather production. Or we could gain one tablet for every two completed Glade events. Or two to herb production. I don't think we're really making herbs. I'm going to go with our tanning racks. Because we do still have our ranch that we can take advantage of at any point in time. Lots of reeds here. That's a big payout this early in the game. And not a big bad payout at all. Hoping that maybe some of these traders will actually provide something useful to us. Like maybe some bricks or something. I don't know. And that we can really get rolling with it. Uh, let's go ahead and start on our next level here. I'm going to make a park. We're going to have some road signs, things of that nature that should help with us. And we're just going to make a fun little road here. We don't have to. It's a fun thing to do. And then we're going to start working on our upgrading to make things go a little bit faster. All right. So our trader is in the house. Wood cutting is 15% faster. Villagers move 10% faster on roads. Those are all great, but I just don't know that I care about them at the moment. Uh, what we do need is we do need some planks desperately. Uh, let's go ahead and get some bricks desperately. What else could we use that's desperate? Uh, we could definitely... Uh, actually, that's probably about it. 16 isn't too bad. But I'm wondering, two crystallite do for every 10 berries produced. We're not producing berries at the moment or in any large quantity. Pigment production from gathering farming. We actually do gather pigments. Percentage chance there. And I'm just going to be ov overtly ambitious in that regard. Uh, we could gather a little bit more stone. I think I would prefer coal though. Because that would allow us to be able to uh, purchase. Or not purchase, but be able to utilize that coal a little bit better. That's fine with me. That's going to give us a good head start. We can actually remove that and put two people here instead, giving them the um, boost production here and deleting this see you later. I don't like using you anyways. What, I've never attacked a trader. You can order your, order your villagers to assault the merchant and take some of his wares. This has consequences. I think it just gives like some really bad impatience points. I wanna say, but maybe don't quote me on it and I don't know that I want to uh, F around and find out if you know what I mean. However, we have our warehouse up and running, so we're gonna get our small farm going. We could totally rebuild the artisan. Remember, the artisan's gonna give us some coats, which will keep them very, very happy. So we definitely wanna go ahead and rebuild that. And again, we're low on food, which is why I wanted to break into another one of these dangerous glades. Unfortunately, we're doing it much faster than what I would be comfortable with, but it is what it is. All right, these guys are cranking on some planks, so hopefully be able to work on that. What do we have here? We have another drizzle water geyser. We have a large encampment, which we can't do anything about. We have a forager's camp, which we could do something about. And we have our leaking cauldron. 13 minutes as usual. Old broken piece of rain punk technology. It'll destroy all planted crops, crops and farm fields and cause minus eight to global resolve. Now I can fix this. Use some wildfire essence. Unfortunately, I don't have barrels, water skins, or pottery. Would spawn 10 to 14 fields of fertile soil. I can't do any of this. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. So once again, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to burn it down. And thankfully I have just enough stuff here. All food production is 90% slower. That's unfortunate, but we're definitely going to have to make sure that we use that and do it quickly. Oh, I really, really hope that we're able to get all those goods there to them. It's looking like we are. Nice. Cool. And that's still beneficial for us. That gives us some mushrooms, some tea, and then a plus two to grain production, which means that when they harvest this one grain, they'll actually harvest three, which is great. More orders. Eight aesthetics and eight harmony. We'll get a brewery and bigger. Oh, we have to do this. There is nothing else here worth more than that. I think we can do aesthetics and harmony. And the need for luxury fulfilled. Now, we only have beavers for that. And so I don't think that'll be worth it. However, 
We could totally do the tablet thing. Yeah, we're gonna roll with that. Okay, so we have a very limited time, the building rush, for sure. We need, oh, only four more aesthetics. Yeah, we could totally do this. Uh, let's go ahead and do, I know this is an awkward spot here. So that'll be good. One, two, three, four. And then we need harmony, right? Yes, we have enough for that stuff. This counts as two. Oh, we need eight harmony. Oof, okay, let's try it. Okay, that should work. We may need some more fabric. And it looks like we're already cranking on fabric. Okay, perfect, that's fine. We have a couple of homeless people that we do need to be mindful of as well. Um, and we can totally just do that right there and call it good for the time being. And so we need to, all buildings of that type. Okay, cool. So the the decorations are all going to hopefully be done at the same time. Harpy's resolve is low. Oh, that's not good. Not much that I can really do if I'm being completely and totally honest. Uh, so that sucks. But again, we got we gotta we gotta do the things we gotta do. Why are we at minus eleven? Oh, they're hungry. Yeah, that's 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 that sucks a lot. <laughs> I'm very very. Very, very scared for what potentially is about to happen here. All right, so our harpies are actually choosing to leave, uh, which is no bueno. We're going to try and boost the resolve to one of them, keeping one happy while the other suffers just a little bit. And yeah, I really need you guys to hurry up, like really, really bad. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use another impatience point. Um, pickled goods is actually a really good one. But they don't take that. So we need something that they will consume. So let's take a look. I wonder if I can see what they consume. So the consumption tab doesn't really work well. We need biscuits and jerky. Pickled goods will be good for them anyway. So I think we have to do that. But the kicker is that we just don't have... I guess they have pie. We could do pie. 20 things of pie. 20 things of pickled goods. We could go ahead and get some berries in there as well. Because we do still have some useful things in here. It's just, uh, it's, it's not too fantastic. There we go. It's not the best, but it will it will satiate people in the interim. Uh, and then we can start working on biscuits and pie and pottery. Uh, well, well, I guess we need something to make flour with, don't we? Yep, none of those make flour. Okay, well, that sucks. Field kitchen can't really do anything. It could if we were able to make some some leather stuff. Porridge is actually something that we could do as well. And unfortunately, only, well, actually, none of them like, well, I guess the humans do like porridge. So we could definitely do that. Jerky would satiate them. Okay, so we have to do a field kitchen, I feel. Because this requires, okay, we do need a bakery and a freaking flapping field kitchen. We're going to do a field kitchen. It's going to be hyper inefficient. So we need to work on making, uh, doing things that will make sure that we can utilize that a lot better. We also need a ranch to start working on that. And then we're also going to need a bakery. Okay, we're gonna take another hit. So this is actually getting a little bit scary now because we're not doing good at all. Uh, the the hits here are absolutely flipping flapping brutal. Uh, and, it, and it's just kind of killing us and really, really hurting at, in the meantime. We also already have a, a corruption, a blight root system, which means we're gonna have to start working on that. We're kind of, we had a good start and the number of people that we had and things of that nature i was actually really really excited and now oh sweet awesome we did that now that was super beneficial in what way i think that was this one so we get five to ale production we do get a brewery and we get some wildfire essence which brings us up to 10 which is a good use of resources um there's our flower okay so things are looking up a little bit however we are very industry intensive right now, and we don't have the population to sustain it and make it work. So we're gonna have to kind of figure that out and wrestle with that. We're also going to stop consuming, we're gonna stop doing packs of goods. Um, they, they cost too much and it's not working out well for us. We also still need to worry about another trade route. And so what can we do here? We do have quite a bit of production going on. This is probably the best bang for our buck in terms of quantity. That's not too bad either. All right, so we'll be able to work on that and maybe be able to start purchasing some things to kind of limp us along as it were. I don't like limping. I don't like limping along at all. It's not uh, it's not my favorite thing to do, but we're kind of stuck in the momentum of where we are at the moment and we kind of have to deal with it. And we're actually, okay, we're okay. 
we're sustaining thanks to the pie and thanks to the other stuff. Um, I can totally connect that. But then what is it making that's going to be useful for us? Yeah, I have to get a ranch up and running. I, I have to. Because we need to make some eggs. Meat, not so much. But we need eggs for our pickled goods. We need... Well, we, I guess we need meat for our jerky, which is the people that we are... Yeah, if we can make pickled goods... We can make pickled goods and jerky. I think we'll be pretty darn good for now. But again, it's finding the people to be able to do it and be able to change. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. We'll do 30 of each. And then for now, no leather. And then someone needs to come in here and make pottery. Yeah, okay. I think that's fine. New villagers have arrived. We're going to go, wow, excuse me, with some uh, humans and some harpies. That does mean that our harpies will need another building but that's okay uh we're gonna build two more harpy things right there our cornerstone one amber for every 50 wood produced we could go ahead and compound our corruption thing by using secure perimeter i think that'll help and then we need to work on just all of our other stuff an archaeology we need to get two ancient tablets and some more glades but i don't really know what that really means at the time that i am speaking this because things are just uh, a little bit hectic. All right, it's been a minute. Not that really anything has changed. We're still <laughs> a little bit desperate, but we have a new trader and we need to be able to do all the things and do all the things rather quickly. So for one, we're gonna go and buy just a, a gobs of flour. Right now we're not making a ton, so it makes sense to do that. We also need to nab, I mean, some things like some more pipes would be a great addition. Um. Let's get some fabric rolling because we're kind of behind on that. Get our, all the like small necessities that are used in our ingredients would be a really, really big benefit as well. We could nab some pottery actually would be really nice because we need that to be able to do all the things. Now that's gonna cost a lot of our goods, but what it is going to do, it is going to allow us to make biscuits, to make some pies. Uh, we're actually gonna prioritize pie uh, or biscuits over pie. And in fact, we may just tell them not to do pie at all uh, because I want them to be able to consume as many uh, biscuits as possible to get that max amount. We're already rocking. I guess the max bonus isn't there yet, although it could be pretty, pretty, pretty darn soon overall. We're also about to rock our temple. Our temple is going to satiate uh, education and religion. Now I don't have incense, she's not selling any, but that's okay, we'll, we'll get it figured out for sure. Now, unfortunately, we're just not really being dealt good hands. And it's stressing me out just a little bit, man. I don't know that we're ready for this. I still think we're gonna get a pretty decent hit to our harpies especially, yeah. So what we're gonna do here is we need to get in our sacrament of the flame. Now, if we do our sacrament of the flame, for every 300 seconds spent sacrificing goods, hostility is reduced by 20. Uh, so that's uh, that's pretty good. The kicker is that we don't have a ton of wood, and we're actually using up quite a bit of wood consumption at the moment uh, because, well, you know, we're trying to make pottery. We're trying to, um, I mean, wood is used throughout all of this stuff. Suppose we could do that, so you're making that jerky instead. Uh, we're, we're doing okay, but it's not all that great. But we're gonna go ahead and do the education thing right there. These guys are working on their blight, uh, blight rot cysts, as it were. Um, and we should have enough, ah, oh, we don't. I'm gonna go ahead and dedicate a person to that so we can get in uh, the drizzle water we need to knock down the impatience. I think that is one of the more important things at this moment. Nice, water delivery is gonna knock that impatience back as I said. What do we want though is the big question. We don't need any of this stuff. Although leisure is a good way to get, actually I do think we have to have the monastery actually. Brawling and education, no, we have to do um, religion and leisure because this is only good for treatment. This is good for the ale that we need. All right, cool. Well, at least we know now we're going to set up our second small hearth. We can start transferring people because we've already maxed out here. And then 
we really need to get to work on wood consumption or production rather and maybe reducing the amount of wood that we are being used i don't know all right we're gonna transfer a handful of people being a little exclusive again with all of our beavers and moving does cost a pretty penny overall but i think it'll be fine there we go and then all we'll need to do is get four aesthetics and that boosts us up there we go okay we're out of the next season and you can see already that we're going to have a massive boost and we're already going to fly above our global resolve which is good we need the maximum number of people possible right now so we can really get to cranking and we're going to have to start diving into more dangerous glades it's just a necessity at the moment and i also want to know where all of our beavers are at um if i took out a beaver and replaced it with a harpy global carrying capacity is increased by five Impatience grows 25% slower. That probably should have been something I did a very long time ago. It is what it is. No worries there whatsoever. We just got to make things happen fast. Because I need my beavers to, to be in, in tip-top shape. There we go. And we're going to have to start digging into this one as well. So we're going to force that right there. Our monastery is going to have to come in here and disrupt things. But that's okay. And I think we'll be all right. We're going to replace this with two gardens. And that should be all that's necessary. Plant fiber, stone production, leather production, bakery production is 50% faster. We're going to go with that. Because we have a bakery and it's up and running and it's functional. Unfortunately, we have no berries or anything of that nature to harvest them with. Ugh, my word. I, I, I can't. I can't do this. This is too much. We're good with our food. A human priest has left. Oh, that's very not cool. I guess since we're not making that and we're not sacrificing anything to the hearth, it's not really a necessity. But we did just get a boost to resolve as well. So we may be able to pull this out. Just It's not going to be quick. And we've opened up a dangerous glade. Now we have a large destroyed caravan. We have the ability to send this to the citadel. Or haulers carry five more goods. We get a lot of baskets of eggs, oil ves vessels, and a ton of planks. I think we kind of have to do this, but what's our big event here? Oh, this is our archaeological discovery. Queen offers a generous reward for unearthing this ancient skeleton. If we provided all of the goods here, we could totally excavate it. Okay, so let's go ahead and loot this. We'll suffer minus eight global resolve, but it's okay. Uh, and then we have packs of building materials, which means that we can go here. And we're definitely going to do it where it houses more of these guys. And what do I want? An additional to resolve, I think, is probably the best thing. Well, we'll do that for the first one. For this one, room for one more, and we'll do resolve. There we go. Very cool. That all is going to work out great. I think we'll be right as rain there. We do also have, yes, berries. We need berries desperately. Unfortunately, I don't have enough people for them. Yeah, I, I don't have enough people to sustain that. And it looks like our clothing production has plummeted as well. So we're not, we're not doing great, folks. Uh, we're not doing great at all. We've got a new trader in the house. We can lower hostility for 15 gold. We're just going to go ahead and do that. I think that's super good. 50% uh, of the amount produced by the brewery would also be good. Yields of all packs is fantastic. Oh my word. There's lots of good stuff here. But we have to pretty much boost our lowest peeps. Because we're about to hit another storm season. So I think what we have to do is we have to do... We have to do as much pie as possible. Let's go ahead and nab some of that because we need that on top of it. We do have tea that I'm not going to use. We also have wine that I'm not going to use. So we can use that to our advantage as well. Maybe get some, I don't know, porridge. Well, only one, one group likes porridge. Let's get some biscuits. There we go. I think that's a fair, pretty fair trade overall. So we're going to trade that. Pro plus one to production yields for all packs of goods would be really awesome. I don't even know that I could get a brewery up and running at this point. So we're going to roll with that and hope for the best. We don't have a lot of options with our trade routes. And we're really just, I'm not going to lie, we are struggling immensely to try and figure out how to make this work. Usually it works out in the end. So I'm not like overtly concerned. But it is still just like, I don't know if we're going to make it. Our last objective we need to use 100 stormwater clearance water and drizzle water 
or sell some tablets and sell some packs of crops. Neither of those are going to work for us. Uh, so we'll just kind of roll with the punches as it were. Uh, we can totally get some goods there. Make that work in our favor. We're also seeing a huge debuff. I was hoping to be done with this sooner, but we're not. So we're going to get a, a minus eight to that, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get it finished. It's no concern. I'm saying it's no concern a lot to satisfy myself as well. There we go. See, look, everyone's happy, hunky-dory. We're pretty darn good. Yeah, we're totally fine. All right, so we can go ahead and start working on other things. Uh, we have 21 people there, which is perfect. We need two more people here. And to be honest, we need to uh, do some more, some more human housing. But well, we're kind of out of space, and our Harpy's resolve is low, so that's not a good thing. All right, so we have an abundance of people, but I still think we need more. I'm also really bad at balancing all of those things. So odds are I don't need more people, but I don't know what else I could do. Uh, global production speed is 33% faster, plus one to wood production, or boosted by five, uh, 180 seconds every time a new glade is discovered, but wood cutting is 33% slower until you open two glades. That could be... Every time a new glade is discovered. No, that's not worth it. We're going to do global production. is 33% faster. Uh, our traders haven't really been useful. We haven't gotten a lot of gold uh, in, in that instance either. So it's not being super duper helpful. Uh, but you know what is being super duper helpful? Well, if I could produce ale, I would, could produce 10 at a time. We have to figure out how to make ale work. And I think it can start with a forager's camp, but we can't build a forager's camp anywhere anyways. All of that stuff is just not working out for us. All right, well, this is kind of how quickly the tides can change. And the fact that, like, all of a sudden now, between our pickled goods production, our biscuits production, which is starting to uh, do decently well, we now have two of our species that are producing uh, more than they could before, which is awesome. Super fantastic. We're still working on biscuit production because biscuits is something that... We all need to be working on more. I would love to get into pie, but I don't think pie and biscuits are a viable choice at this time. I guess we could look again real quick. Uh, you know what? Pie is viable. So we will do pie and all of that stuff. Uh, cool. We're over our limit there, so they're not going to keep working on that. In terms of... Yeah, we need a really good payout on all of our trade areas. And this would also be an, a good place to start working elsewhere. Are we going to start excavating? We are. That's going to get us our tablet and the first stage of progress, which we need two ancient tablets and we need to open up more glades. So let's go ahead and uh, let's let's do a potentially not smart thing. And let's open up this glade here to see what's in store for us. Hopefully we can get that done before the hostility of the forest gets a little too much as well. Uh, but yeah, I mean, that was a, a small boost that's already plummeting. That's okay. We'll, we'll get it all figured out. And there she is. Now, oh, we do actually have a harvester's camp. Fantastic. That's good for us there. Sea marrow, we probably should get, could get another stone cutter going. Uh, and then this, this is actually pretty useful. We're not getting any tools this time around, which really, really sucks. Uh, the ominous shrine from a long forgotten era. We could excavate it. Here we go. This is going to be really helpful. We're going to go ahead and uh, excavate it, send it to the queen for some amber and some uh, Queen's Favor right before the stormy season that works for me. Over here, we could grab that or barrel production. Are we even making barrels? I don't think we have the capacity to make barrels. But we're definitely going to break this open and rock that. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to remove that, boost our people as much as possible. Before the storm hits... Oof. And we still get a nasty, nasty hit. We're going to boost these people up and hope that we can weather the storm a little faster. Now, I do need 12 packs of luxury goods. So I'm not going to do this one. Although you can see, I can make a stupid daggum penny with that. Uh, we have the ability to sell multiples of those. Who's got the better deal here? You definitely have the better deal. That's a good chunk of change. I can't do that, unfortunately. 
Uh, but yeah, we need uh, a few more packs of luxury goods without a doubt. Hopefully they'll be able to provide them for us. Now we did this because even though their resolve goes down, it should still be uh, beneficial for us to keep it that way. We also need someone else to go after the blight root so it doesn't overwhelm us. And you can see where they're actually rocking it, which is pretty cool. I, I love that a lot. All right, so in our next stage, we can totally do this as well. We're going to excavate this again. We're going to get another tablet. And that's going to be super helpful. Yeah, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm much more confident at the moment. Uh, we're going to make sure flower is the, the number one priority. Which is then done by scrolls and packs of building materials at the bottom. Alright, so we... This may be our one of our last attempts to keep uh, villagers in the mix. But I think it'll be alright. Are we making beer? We have tons of beer. What am I doing with my life? For freaking real. Gentle vapors seem to soothe the wilderness. Hostility is decreased by 100. Same buildings do not stack. Okay, so we will satiate our beavers and our humans now. Um, let's go ahead and get... No, let's re-roll. Let's see what there is for us. Every 20 felled trees, global resolve is increased by 3. That's actually really beneficial. We're going to roll with that. So that means we really need to focus on our beavers moving in and doing all the things. We do have five homeless people, and we need to be able to work on that solution. But I'm not quite sure what that solution is, to be honest with you. Um, I don't have enough space. Ugh, I just don't have enough space. That's just what it is. Um, that's okay, though. We'll get it figured out. These guys are going to break this open. And these guys are going to start working on scrolls. We have a global reputation bonus here. Flour, barrels, and packs of provisions. We already kind of missed out on that. Jerky and pottery. No, we need something a little bit better. Let's go with an herb garden. That's going to get us herbs and stuff, which we could use over here. Now, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to build a warehouse here. We would build an herb garden here if we could clear it. So now that we have this, we're going to work on that. Stonecutter's camp claims to not have space but we're going to put him right here and that's going to be incredibly helpful build another warehouse so we can kind of keep production localized and we're finally at a spot where we're we're good in this section which is awesome i'm so glad that it's finally at that point in terms of our resolve over there that's okay for now i think uh we really need to work on scroll production but there's only so much that we can do you guys have done that, which is going to get us tons of scrolls. We also still just don't have any tools. I've never played a game where I've had so few tools. That's all right, though. Tool production, that's ironic. Um, time spent resting while under the effects of clothing. That would be fantastic. Let's go ahead and do drying boards, though. And what do we need here? I think we're already beyond the tools. Actually, no, we're not. We're not above the tools. Uh, where do we Where do we even have caches at? I suppose I could just buy as many as possible. We have a decent bit for sale. Now, tools are stupidly expensive. I can't. I can't justify that. Nope, I can't do it. I can justify that. That's six bucks. Like six stinking bucks for that. Absolutely. I can even justify some beer and some scrolls i can even justify some pipes actually some incense would be great as well all the other things i just can't i can't do it it hurts my soul too much to try and uh squiggle some living out of that there we go six pro packs of provisions every time you discover a new glade i'm not getting any tool production done so it's just not beneficial to me um ba -ba -ba -ba. Sea marrow? I don't know that that's beneficial either. I think we're good. I think we're pretty good. And look at that. All right, we've got... I don't even have to boost these people anymore. Yeah, and that soars them even higher. So, okay, so we're, we're rocking and rolling. We're making bacon. 
slowly but surely things are are starting to actually look up they have all of their excavation requirements which is going to get us some glade activity as well there we go um let's go ahead and move you here so i do need to maximize you so we need to be able to use that all right unfortunately this is going to be a stupid long mission i think we're probably going to hit 10 years which means that our seal is a bit out of reach which does really suck but it's okay it's okay at the same time new reputation bonus we don't need any more ale we could probably use a clay pit though skewers biscuits and pigment uh sure we'll do a clay pit although i don't entirely see its benefit at the time yeah we are soaring we're getting one uh one reputation per minute which is uh, a bit bonkers but it's also amazing and we lost those guys which isn't a big deal we're gonna go with our herb garden and then we're rocking and rolling there two more dangerous events sell some tablets which we're not going to get to uh and we need to get into one more glade but i don't think we have time to do that before the next event drops or the next uh the next stormy season as it were all right well did we already use tools what do we use tools for oh i didn't buy them that's right <laughs> it's okay uh, if I excavate this again, we get two respect. Harmony grants sea marrow and copper ore production. And the queen has decided to reward you for exceptional achievements. You receive an additional cornerstone, cho cornerstone choice. Uh, we have to do that. That sounds like the best of all worlds. So we're going to do that, fully knowing that we can't fulfill it for the time being. We do need more pipes, so I could call in someone uh, a little bit later to help us figure that out. Incense production would be awesome. I don't know how beneficial we would actually be able to, to utilize it, but an apothecary is what we're gonna get anyways. We're at level seven, we're gonna go ahead and drop that so we boost that for as long as humanely possible. And we may actually get out of here by year eight as well. Frickin' flack and bonkers. Ooh, we are being a little bit overwhelmed by the fire or by uh, Blightstorm. Yeah, if that gets all the way up, we uh, lose three random villagers so yeah really start knocking that back full speed ahead but every time we destroy a blight it knocks it back so we may be okay that's still really dangerously high though yeah we'll be all right but goodness gracious uh, that was that was those too close that was way too close give it a little bit of a boost there a little bit of a boost there for 33 that was huge now uh, we can't call immediately unfortunately which is fine okay what might be just might be our last year and we're gonna reroll let's do value added tax again i think that's going to be beneficial for all of us we'll do that cool beans neato all right we have more than enough grain as a it's pretty apparent overall there's our last group of villagers we're going to try and use them as efficiently as possible in this last season and that includes going after a forbidden glade, not even a dangerous one, a forbidden one, to be able to produce everything that we need to produce. Uh, packs of luxury goods, sell ancient tablets. We're not going to do that. We cut into one more glade, though, and we're golden. One thing we never got around to was clearance uh, water, which is uh, a little bit strange. I'm not going to lie. We're going to prioritize that. These guys can make biscuits. Uh, we don't want them to make biscuits. Tea is not necessary, so we're good there. Uh, now, these guys, yeah, they're going to have to work pretty hard. And we may even, for the last year... Oh, I totally forgot about an archaeologist's office. Let's build it, but also, we're going to build a, a blight post over here as well to tackle all those other people. And we're going to build two more of these guys. I can move this for free. And we're going to uh, drop another human house. We're actually going to drop a few of them. And then maybe a harpy house and another beaver house. That should keep everyone in line. What's the benefit of the archaeologist office? I can't believe I just completely forgot about this. Scouts work 10% faster for every two reputation points gained from Glade events. We didn't do any of those. But look at this. Four additional items move 7% faster. We're already at level 2. Hostility level grants plus one to tool production. That's actually super useful. Minus 10 hostility for every one of those guys. We can't fulfill that right now. And that's okay. That's fine. Uh, but what we can do 
Let's call these peeps immediately and see what they can't do for us. Harvester's camp. Yeah, there's plenty here for you, my dear. All right, you. Awesome. Pipes, done deal. We win. Go ahead and knock that down. Go ahead and knock that down. Um, let's go ahead and basically boost everyone that we can for everything that we can boost them for. There we go. We're still not quite there. Let's do that. Bada bing, bada boom. They're going to use that over here. And we're going to get uh, we're gonna get a successful settlement by year eight. Thank the heavenly lords. Actually, here in just a second is what we're going to do. Because we're going to boost everyone that we can. What is this? You lose four units of a random type of rainwater every 12 seconds. Every time you send one to global resolve. Those are actually all really awesome things. But we don't have to worry about it now. Uh, thankfully. Because these guys are going to crank on that. We're going to get those two reputation points if we don't succeed by high resolve. That's fantastic. Okay, so that was really scary. That was, uh, we potentially would have lost a lot. Uh, but that's all right. Win a game near the Frost Modifier. Complete 30 time doors. We got lots of machinery, lots of artifacts, and some seal fragments. And we get a royal resupply, which is fantastic. Now, this is going to happen just for, I think, this next one. Five seal fragments. This is what we need. Five more seal fragments. <gasps> what was once unobtainable has just become super obtainable. I think we can do this, guys. I think we can get close to our... If we went there, I think we could get within range. We'd have to be super efficient. I think we can squeeze another three settlements in, which would be enough to be able to do our gold seal. Ladies and gentlemen, this is super exciting. I didn't think we were going to have a chance, but chose violence... Uh, was able to bring us back into the brink with those uh, those seals. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'd have to do at least two more, which is fine. I think we can handle it. That's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Do all the things you know what to do. This is Havoc. I'll see you in the next one.